a robot that can be worn. Put it on like a vest. You can move as light as a swallow. It's called exoskeleton robot, aiming to assist the human movement with an external force. Together. Ooh. This is impossible for me without this exoskeleton. The one on my back from a Chinese company has already been presented in many scenarios. Manufacturing, logistics, sports rehabilitation, military industry, even as a sci-fi configuration of the wandering earth. No wonder it has caught the attention of overseas market. A few months ago, a Thai factory had placed an order. We have the raw material process, right? We have the heavy material for movement. Our people have limitation. That's why we will buy this product for support our factory. People in manufacturing industries need to repeat this action thousands of times a day. The probability of lumbar muscle strain and shoulder and back injury exceeds 20% in the United States and over 50% in China. People with labor injuries can be as young as 25 years old. After the birth of exoskeleton robots, companies only need to make a trade-off between tens of billions of dollars in work-related injury insurance and the cost of purchasing robots. Just a glance at the grand occasion during the Beijing Robot Conference, I know how interested people are in this new technology. There are a large number of manual jobs that cannot be replaced by special equipment or full automation and can only rely on people. Nowadays, it's very difficult to recruit people for heavy physical positions. Laborers are getting older, and we hope that exoskeleton robots can empower them and make them work sustainably. Zhang's idea coincides with Jay, who's been working in the manufacturing industry in Southeast Asian market for decades. After receiving this batch of Chinese products, he not only applied them in his own company, but also introduced his business partners to place orders. He believes that the era of robots has arrived. You know, automation uh, is, is part of our original plan to improve productivity, to reduce the labor cost, to protect our business. It's getting harder and harder to employ a young and energetic uh, labor right now at this time too, you know. In the few interactions I had with my backpack, I felt that technology was arriving sooner than I imagined. After all, who doesn't like the feeling of being a tiger with wings added? Starting from China and heading towards Southeast Asia, Europe, and the broader international stage is not just John's plan. It's only a matter of time for China's quality tech products.